Yeah. So proud of you. Yeah. I, uh, you did. We, you did. You did your first prophecy run. I tried. I tried so hard to play Crucible on my phone. Yeah. How'd that go? Uh, it act. So I want to be honest. It wouldn't have gone that bad. I was talking to Joe about it when I got home, and the thumbsticks need to be raised up a little bit higher on the backbone, I think, to be able to play an FPS. Mm -hmm. Especially because like you get to click them down so much in Destiny. Are they run. better than the Switch's thumbsticks for a handheld? Or are they about the same? I would say yes. I would say they're about on par. They're about on par. Um, I think they, I think they have a little bit more maneuverability, which is pretty sad considering these are basically phone Joy Cons. Right. What really killed me was the triggers because my fingers were so cramped on top of each other back there. Right. The uh, L2 and R2 were so like small, and I have fat. I don't know if you can tell by the everything about me, but I have fat fucking fingers. And the amount of times I accidentally meleeed or threw a grenade when I was just trying to fire my gun or aim down sights was so bad. <laughs> I felt like sending a message to everybody on my team in quick play and being like, I'm so sorry. It was at that moment I knew I could not participate in trials over the weekend. So, I mean, you could have. Uh, Ner Nerd and Joe generously woke up very early, very early for me. Uh, on Tuesday, I, I was on about 7.30 in the morning, uh, and we played a lot of trials so that I could actually come talk about it. Yeah, I played some trials um, this weekend, too. Oh, man, I love trials. Tri tri trials all the way, baby. Our friends John and Max, friend of the show, A1 Johnny, and uh, Max both went flawless for the first time over the weekend. I'm hoping to add to it this weekend. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm all in on trials though. These cha these changes are beautiful. Bring them to everything. Bring l literally Saint fourteen is the best vendor in the entire game now. <laughs> I'm not even front. <laughs> Let me focus my Ingrams everywhere. Damn it! <laughs> Let me spend these thirty thousand legendary shards that I have. <laughs> um, uh. I, I was real happy because it was like I, I guess we'll just jump straight into it. Like with the trials changes, specifically with Saint. I love that the engrams that you get from him, even if they say they're like 1304, are actually useful because they actually, when you actually decrypt them, when you select what you want, mm -hmm. excuse me, I'm burping, um, they will actually decrypt at 1320. Um, they'll decrypt at that pinnacle. As long as you've hit 1320, I believe, they will decrypt there, mm -hmm. uh, which is really, really nice. Uh, because I ignore those legendary engrams that come from Shax, Zavala, and Drifter. I don't pick up the ones that you get for every minor rank. I think it's stupid. They're they're not worth it to me. Yeah. But with Saint, it's worth it because I didn't have to sit around and wait for Reed's Regret to be in my uh, to be in my loot stream. Because you will get all six weapons throughout the season if you reset your rank with Saint, mm -hmm. right? Uh, right now, it's you get Eye of Soul and Igneous Hammer first. And those are in the spots where you would normally get the Ascendant Shards and uh, the Rocket Launcher or Ornaments. I believe that's how that goes. I love that idea. I think that's great. If you have hit the, if you've earned the adept weapon that is up for that week, you can actually dump all your resources into that. It'll cost you fifty thousand glimmer, I believe two hundred and fifty legendary shards. Obviously, your Ingram, and you have to have done the passage on. You have to have a passage on you. Mm -hmm. So it's going to cost you a lot, but I mean, for a lot of a lot of people who've gone flawless, like that's all you want. You want the adept versions of these guns, mm -hmm. um, or you want a chance at high stat armor dropping. I think the rewards, like I played for about 45 minutes and already had four or five Ingrams waiting for me back at Saint. I had gotten some drops. I had gotten a powerful, I, well, I'd gotten a pinnacle to drop. I got my second pinnacle to drop shortly after that. The only one I didn't get was win seven matches. I ended up with like five out of seven, I think, just doing it Tuesday morning. Mm -hmm. So... I, and that's seven matches throughout the whole weekend. You don't have to do it all at once or all in one weekend. Like there are incentives now to not reset your card. This is right. what we've been begging for forever. It is the high is confirmed now as of today's swap. It is the most played trials weekend ever across either game. Mm -hmm. And that's including any trials, trials of the nine trials of Osiris, the new trials of Osiris. This is the most played version of it by a large margin too. Right. Well, I mean, like uh, when you uh, add matchmaking and like you eliminate kind of like that fear of like, if I don't win, I'm not going to get anything right. Like people are more willing to jump in. Right. And 
but the 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 card still has the flawless counter mm-hmm. on it. So like the hardcore can still go in and try to do flawless and get to the lighthouse or whatever. And it's still it's like it's benefiting everybody. I feel like right. And the two different passages that you have, you have access to mercy and you have access to uh, I forget what the name of the other one is, but the other one is definitely geared more towards rewards. Yeah. It's like, I will probably play on that passage this coming week because yeah. I want more rewards. Yeah. Um, I got four or five reads regrets and an awesome eye of soul out of this weekend. Um, I got reads. I, I finally got a gun to roll with headstone on it. I've only been trying for three weeks. <laughs> finally got it. And of course, it's the linear fusion rifle. Uh, not exactly what I wanted headstone on, <laughs> but that gun is... Awesome. I got it with triple tap, um, triple tap firing line. So when firing line gets fixed, um, I'm looking forward to being able to use that gun a lot more. But it hasn't left my inventory. I've been using it a lot. Um, Nerd and I were actually talking the other day that it's so wacky that our loadouts this week have been an exotic trace rifle in the primary slot, a fusion in the secondary, and a linear fusion for heavy. Like, what is life right now in this game? <laughs> This is, like, the greatest meta that we've ever seen. <sighs> Obviously, I, I'm exaggerating. So, I mean, most of us are running Sleeper Stimulant in that heavy slot right now, right? Mm-hmm. Like, we're all going to Shirochi. We're all farming the Catalyst right now. Um, I'm I'm still the Divinity bitch. But it, it feels great to have options, finally. Like... With these mods, Null Composure is actually worth using now. And with the changes to Fusions this season. Like, it was a gun that we all went LOL, I'm not using that, last season. And now it's like, uh, okay, I guess we all need to go get a new one out of collections. Um, I think when you look at how Saint is structured with rewards, though, like to get back to Trials... How you can focus your Ingrams with him for armor, for weapons. It doesn't even have to be in your loot pool for you to be able to do it. Because like I said, I dumped all of mine. And we all know how it goes. In those early sub ranks, you're getting Ingrams all the time, right? Yeah. yeah. And I, I think that being able to choose your rewards is so – it's so good. Like for those of us who have been playing and getting the pity bounties forever and like we were struggling to turn in 20 tokens in a weekend, or, you know, we would just get enough to turn in 20 for the weekend and try and get another roll on a gun in our loot pool. Most of us have pretty like serviceable roles, I would say on most weapons now. Yeah. Um, and then there's been the challenge just the last couple seasons where, Oh, when Igneous hammer was introduced, you got one of those for doing your trials challenge. Last season, it was Shayura's wrath. Uh, this season is surely going to be, they're going to give you a reads regret. Um, how you can do that, though, like, I want to see that. I especially want to see that with Iron Banner, first and foremost. Yeah. Because there's so many things in that loot pool. Like, even if you just used the weapons from Arrivals until now, that is still such a great loot pool. Yeah. And that would encourage so many of us to keep going and playing. Like, let me earn re- let me earn Rep with Salad. And we know that that's the next one they're working on, right? Right. Like, Give me that for give me give me it for that, and then overhaul the gunsmith like that too. Yeah, like I've been saying for a while on the show that I think that the gunsmith needs to be overhauled to be more in line with how Shax and Drifter were a couple seasons ago. Yeah, and I like that Zavala is like that this season. I, I think that those are all big wins. Give everybody Ingram focusing though. Let me spend my let me spend my resources, my shards, my glimmer, like. I want to do this because I think for those of us who we want to be raiding, we want to be doing high end PVP. We want to be doing dungeons. Like this is stuff we want to do. Like we want to target our loot. Like I would love to be able to sit down with somebody like Ray, who's just getting back in and say, all right, you need to focus all your Ingrams at at the gunsmith on world drop. So you need to focus everything on first in last out and get, get auto loading Vorpal. Like you, you need to do that because that's, still meta for boss damage right like i'd love to be able to say something like that or um imagine you could do and i mean we've seen a level of this with the umbral ingrams right imagine you could go there and instead of it just being the weapons for this season that you could get double perks on in row three let me do some of the splicer weapons or some of the chosen weapons by using my currency from this season don't make me go earn the stupid currency from that season this is the catch-up season at the end of the year yeah you know let me do something like that. Um, you know, uh, what is it? Um, 
not Imperial, uh, Threaded Needle, I think, is the mm-hmm. uh, linear fusion from Chosen. Yeah, yeah. The, the Void linear fusion that we were all like, oh my god, I've gotten like 50 of these. And we were just deleting because they were such dog shit. <laughs> now I'm finding myself facing the possibility of needing to go back into Battlegrounds to farm these. Yeah, I, ha- I, hate I have life. one somewhere. It's, but we, we look at something, and I think it's great that they tried it with Saint. Because you're going to get the hardcore players in there, right? We were all going to go in there and check it. Those of us who want to play all the time or who maybe even people who were timid about trials, they're going to look at those changes, especially matchmaking in the shorter round times now, which made a huge difference, by the way. Knocking 30 seconds off each round, it made it so much more fast-paced to me. People weren't sitting around waiting on, on supers to charge. It gave time for some epic comebacks, some great plays. Joe and I were getting a lot of uh, two or three on ones. It, it feels more rewarding than it has in any of the games, I would say. Than original Trials, than Trials of the Nine, obviously, than this Trials that we had up until now. And I like, th- I, I can't believe we're saying this. Like, Trials is the Trials loot system is how everything should be going forward. Yeah, I agree. 100%. I should feel this like I like that I have mods that will drop extra weapons for me or mm-hmm. give me a better chance at getting. I can't tell you how many empty vessels and third axioms I deleted today doing Vanguard strikes. Mm-hmm. It was a lot. I would love to be able to go to Zavala. If I see one more empty up. vessel, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna scream. And yeah. It's double Vanguard, so I'm playing a lot of strikes right now, which I already don't like doing. Yeah. Well, like I would love to be able to go to Zavala and oh, you did you you've unlocked the Adept Hung Jury before, and that's what's up this week in Grandmasters. You want to dunk like 300 shards and like 50,000 glimmer? I mean, basically make it equivalent to getting an Adept one from Saint. Mm-hmm. You want to dump that here to get a better roll on it? Introduce some of the Crucible weapons as adept versions. Introduce a new, I mean, obviously it would require them retooling Gambit entirely, but maybe in the future you have, you bring Gambit Prime back in some way and you have Gambit adept weapons as well. Like, there's just so many possibilities for loot now, and I think it all starts with looking at what is success. I have not seen a single person get upset with the new Trials loot system. Not a single person. I I like it a lot. I think it's, I think it's great. Uh, I do have a question though. Like, do you have, you have to, you have to win round or do, I guess I'm kind of confused because I played a lot of trials and I didn't get drops a lot. Did you go pick up your stuff from Saint? Yeah. You have to go straight to Saint to pick it up. Oh, you have to go to Saint to pick it up. Yes, okay. it, it works. It doesn't your loot. Uh, as far as I know, like you have a chance for loot to still drop. Like I think I have soul was the three win uh, drop this past weekend. So I had one of those right. drop in game. Well, I, only... I had one of my powerful. I only played like probably 10 or 12 matches to be honest with you. Uh, and I was just like, I thought, I thought the, the stuff changed it. But then like, now that you kind of explained it, then... it, it does. So you have to go, you have to go back to Saint. You'll have stuff waiting on the rewards track from him. Like you would Zavala or Shax, mm-hmm. but up there in the corner, your top right corner where your progress bar is for whatever yeah. rank you're on. Yeah. You want to click on all those Ingrams. Like those should be waiting for you this weekend. Okay. You should be able to get all those because okay. I was confused at first too. I was like, I'm not getting drops. People are saying they got trials Ingrams. They will come into your inventory when you click on them as trials Ingrams and mm-hmm. you just F- focus them at Shacks. Okay. Or at uh Saint, excuse me. Saint. Yeah. Okay. It's you might be able to do it now. I don't know if you can still access them by talking to him um, outside of a outside of trials being live. It doesn't look like um, it because I'm at him and it's just like uh, it just says trial trials uh, of Osiris is not active and then like it's just everything's blacked out or grayed out. Oh, OK, yeah, you probably won't be able to pick it up until the weekend then. Well, that's fine. Um, what, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. Uh, when when this goes live, we'll be back in trials. Um, God, the ma- the matchmaking feels good. It feels rewarding. I mean, literally, fr- friends of ours are matchmaking their way to the lighthouse, which yeah. is just super encouraging to see. We saw a huge spike in the comp population when this happened back in Shadowkeep two years ago, right? Mm-hmm. Um, we saw a big jump. I mean, I I solo matchmaked my way to Recluse and uh, nearly to Mountaintop, mm-hmm. right? 
And it's like, if I can do it, just about anybody can do it at that point. Yeah. Like, if I'm not intimidated enough to go spend an afternoon in comp to earn Recluse, like the best weapon in the game at the time, then y'all shouldn't be either. And I feel that way with Trials now. Tri we can literally, there's no way to make Trials more accessible than it is. Even if you suck, you will still get rewards. Mm -hmm. It may take you a little bit longer to get there, but you will still get rewards. Yeah. And, I mean, the Trials weapons are some of the best in the game. I mean... You look at I mean, how many people right. are how many people are still using Igneous Hammer like everywhere? Uh, it, I mean, Igneous Hammer has been great for two seasons now. Yeah, Igneous Shayura's Wrath is one of the best PvP weapons since Recluse got Sunset. Mm -hmm. It's basically Trials Recluse. Mm -hmm. like if you get the right, right roll on it, Reed's Regret. If you get Triple Tap Vorpal, that is one of the best DPS, and you combine it with some of the new mods in the artifact. That is one of the best DPS weapons in the entire game right now, and it's a legendary. Mm -hmm. Like, we cannot make it easier for you guys. Like, yeah. you, you've got that. You've got Eye of Soul is still in there, which, I mean, there's there's better kinetic sniper options, but Eye of Soul is still a really solid gun, I feel. I'm hoping that now with the focusing system, they'll put Astral Horizon back in. They'll put Summoner back in. Like, put some of these weapons that you kind of put on the back burner, Scholar, like, even. Bring those back in. Let me finish out my loot pool. Yeah. Bring the old Trials armor from last year back in. Like, if I want to drop 500 shards in a Trials Ingram to get that as an ornament, let me do it. Mm -hmm. I'm missing two pieces, and I'm still really upset about it. Question. But, yes. Reed's Regret. That's just that's yes. just available now, right? In the loot pool, right? It's just available. Okay. You, you do not have to unlock anything for it to be in your loot pool now. Okay. You can literally take a Trials Ingram to Saint, say, I want, if you have four Ingrams, you can get four Reed's Regrets in a row. That's okay. what I did. All right. I was I was just curious how that, because yep. like. The only thing you have to actually have unlocked is the, uh, the Adept version of a gun. Right. Okay. If you want the Adept one, you had to have earned it. Right. Already. Right, 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 right. Right. Which is how it should be. Right. No, I, would I agree. Want the same thing for nightfall weapons. No, I agree with you 100 percent on that. Yeah. I was just, I was just curious if like, because like I knew Reed's regret was like a big deal last weekend, um, and I just, I'm a trials I mean, it's, noob, it's, guys. I'm trying to figure all this out. So, I mean, and that that's what it's about, right? Like it, it's it's all about it's all about learning it. It's about you know experimenting and like it's about getting people like you in that don't normally play trials getting mm -hmm. you to engage with the game mode like if even you are coming out somebody who does not play a lot of pvp especially competitive pvp and is saying i like the changes to trials we have done the job correctly i feel mm -hmm. like the feedback was given but no meme it took us a while to get there but they were listening mm -hmm. <laughs> and we got there it took us a few seasons they warned us it was going to be a few seasons this just makes me hope that they're seeing the feedback here. They're already implementing changes for tomorrow. There will be another fix that goes live tomorrow morning. Or when you're listening to this, the change should be live mm -hmm. Friday morning. Um, that I hope they fast track Iron Banner changes now. Yeah. I really need them to do that. I need them to overhaul the vendors. I'm not saying the vendors need to be overhauled for Shadow for for uh, blah, 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 Witch Queen. Mm -hmm. maybe do that the season after like having incremental changes every season is good i know you have a lot on your plate but maybe the pvp team can look at this or the trials team can go okay trials is in a really good place right now let's keep monitoring let's shift over and help with iron banner real fast let's get this implemented for saladin because i don't know about you but i'd love to spend the three thousand goddamn tokens i have on something <laughs> Rather than spending them and getting like six cloaks in a row, let me spend them and get a uh, God World multi match. Let me get, uh, I want to get, uh, I will literally dump them all into the sidearm. I swear to God, I will dump everything into that sidearm. I want it with headstone. I run stasis more than anything, even in PvP and PvE. Right. Please give me my, I have like 3,000 kills with this sidearm in two weeks. Please, for the love of God, give me one with headstone. <laughs> I have the headstone one. Uh, I have the roll with headstone. God, fuck you. It was the it was. Let's see. Hold on. I'll tell you what the roll is. The other perk isn't great. It's I have. Uh, let's see. I have range finder and headstone. I mean, I like range finder on sidearms personally. I, also, I use sidearms a lot. I also I got a, that. the Volpecula with headstone on it and tunnel vision. If I used that, if I used hand cannons, I'd be all over it. Um, the, I am slowly getting there. Maybe by the time Witch Queen comes out, I'll be a convert. Um, 